good morning everyone uh, today uh, actually one of the political uh, scenario we are going to talk about today about the politics normally in this my channel uh, i'm too sorry to say you i am not able to i'm not talking about the politics but it is a quick review about the future of the world and uh, how the world bring into a new order there is a new world order is going on actually if you like it or not uh, to be honestly china already you know already become a superpower so if if america wants usa wants and uh, we don't see a good power in rising up power after the first world uh, second world war in germany was the rising uh, power in the world so after the second world war end after i don't see any uh, any kind of a uh, world power begun by the uh, in in europe so there is a uh, number one i uh, let me talk with you uh, let me talk to you regarding some of the issues that which which i have concern and how it uh, become an impact how it could be possibly uh, affecting affecting to the uh, southeast asia and asian asian continent because as you know asian continent is the world largest continent right so it has china and japan and north korea so these three countries are literally more powerful despite of uh, east asia we have a lot of resources uh, resourceful countries we have so that's number one and uh, secondly uh, south china sea issue and also uh, also asia uh, asia pacific region uh, pacific ocean going to take win by the china because they already taken uh, seven islands right and christmas islands there are a lot of islands china is betraying uh, and they have to, xi jing has uh, president xi jing has given some bribery to uh, those countries presidents and he has taken over uh, as per his interests that's number 2 and all about uh, rising up rising up uh, power as in india how it could be uh, impact to india and into our uh, southeast asia this is uh, this is all about our topic today uh, let's speak about why putin has who is putin actually putin is a dictator right uh, as you know he is uh, relentless war he is making uh, his he makes with uh, he Uh, he has a war with uh, ukraine i'm sorry he has a war with ukraine so oh my god cold sorry for that so Oh my gosh how it could be impact to the oh my god shit how it could be impact to the future world future of our uh, countries like us countries like sri lanka india and pakistan actually we are fragile countries as you know our economy india's economy only a little bit okay but our economy in sri lanka economy as well as uh, pakistan economy is so weak that's number one and china plays a big role in our economy as you know uh, china has gaining benefit lot of benefits been and becoming as a biggest debitor debit 
let uh, honor in the world and be as powerful and the most powerful nation in the world as well as most powerful uh, debit in the world they play with lot of countries so they want to gain the world power so how if china we have couple of things uh, i'm going to uh, say if china become a world power how the how is the, how will be the impact in a countries like us sri lanka definitely they will control us right there is no issue there is no problem because they will control us they will tell us you have to do this you must do is either you like it or not you have to do this things they will choking us so they know relentlessly and ultimately the the world power will be share with the usa japan china and as well as india and russia it will be slip, split into a uh, few parts actually uh, america has a role of that and Uh, throughout the history what the america has just has done as per their interest only they have they have work out so uh, capitalism capitalism they want to spread out the capitalism and as per the western interest only last five, 500 years has been moved has been moved on the 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 dunia the world but now that that order that uh, system has changed already now it is gone through 50 50 2 china uh, and russia in one side and also uh, usa in one side actually usa can do one thing usa is the largest trading partner of china so they have to step by step they have to stop the chinese products which is we are buying from china that's number one and also they can make an embargo that i don't think so the embargo is uh, really helpful for this matter china and russia could not be uh, i don't say couldn't be defeated it is hard to be defeated really hard to be defeated and there should be a uh, europe is always rely on american weapons so therefore i think the best solution is for europe there should be another third party Uh, rise up power that's number 4 and it might be uk or i don't think so uk but it might be uh, germany or maybe maybe uh, i think paris france that's number 5 and also uh, in the sides by the south china sea also and uh, by the bhutan slowly slowly china going to gaining and they are trying to uh, they are trying to choke india so india has a big role in this, in this impact they have to be very careful they have to uh, their power is still weaker india's power is still weaker being as a democratic country india's power is so weaker of that so how india if a war is going on really if we, if we, there is conflict going on if uh, after vladimir putin uh, came to china they make a uh, bilateral relationships they were stronger and uh, stronger than ever before as well as it is i think it's a, there is a one thing i was realized secretly china is backing up russia russia uh, china given China has owned more than forty to fifty percent of state-owned companies on Russian uh, oil giants, oil reserves, owned by China. So this is this will be a this will play a big impact in Russian economy and Chinese economy as well. As so, next part is Greenland. China strongly go to Greenland, and after they will choke in USA. So USA has a has a big uh, impact on that so how it could be uh, i would say within another 4 years i don't say i don't think uh, and i'm not going to talk about another 10 to 20 years definitely usa will be the second and china will be the first then uh, i 
Bhagat says something, uh, one thing very important, something which is very important, uh, something which is very unique. Uh, let you to uh, quote unquote something uh, which is very important to uh, about this. When we talk about this matter, ultimately, if China become world largest superpower and most strongest superpower. China has no uh, war experience militarily, but USA and the other countries, also Japan, Japan and uh, India, will become another powers as well. So it will be sharing. I don't think so. Uh, in the world, once we bring the world into a new world order, I think it will not a unilateral power. It will be bipartisan and uh, by bilateral power. I think. You see, up to year two thousand five, I, I just uh, just tell you the facts and the figures. Up to year two thousand five, all the world, this world, controlled by US, right? After the World War. So, what about now? Now China become a superpower, so US has to do working in hard. It can be, but it will take some time. These are the axes of evils. But there is something I have to tell you about the China and uh, Russia. There is a big question in the future. Russia president after he dead, after he died one day in the future, who will be take over Russia? And Russia will be. Will Russia be the same as before? As powerful as before, it will be. Uh, is it the red? Uh, is it the same as Russia, same as Soviet Union? How it could be? What kind of impact it will give to the world? That's number two. That the big effect, right? And the big question afterwards also. China's political future. Internal political future that you know in this dunya, this world, we cannot prediction for anything and everything. The way we want, if some will not happen. Anything will not happen the way we want. There is some kind of changing will always happen. The world is changing. Only unchangeable thing is a constant thing in this world is the changing things. So therefore. I strongly believe in the future, China cannot run alone in this world. If Europe, uh, we are talking about uh, the BRICS, the dollarization, cryptocurrency, uh, dismantling uh, USA, and Indo-Pacific Ocean, uh, South China Sea issues. There are so many things. One way, China is double standard country you know in this case already it has fallen its economy uh, in the real estate sector so what i feel in the future if this thing happens there is a problem there is a issue in china's uh, internal politics future of uh, chinese internal politics so what i feel actually in the future China will be fallen down. You know, in this dunya, this world, uh, nothing will exist forever. Everything will be changed. Even US can fall down. Even China can fall down. Even any country can fall down. Even dunya, whole world can be fall down. We cannot say anything about the future. So what I feel, unpredictable. But if the world moves like this, I think there will be a bilateral powers, not a unilateral power. So the Vladimir Putin comes to China and what could be the impact to the world if they become stronger, countries like Sri Lanka, it will be it will be a good thing by the Russian side, by the Chinese side, it will not be a good thing for us. Because already we have to pay 
30 billion or 400 million dollars, something like that, to China. How many generations? I don't know. We will have to pay for this amount. I don't know. We don't have any plan to how we are going to pay for that. We don't have any plan, any protocol. There is no any protocol. So uh, our country run by the debts, by the world bank. So where is our internal uh, economy? We, do we have a strong economy? We, do we have a uh, what we got to do after hundred years to plan it another ten to twenty years, for example? Politicians are struggling, and there it's like Pakistan. Their uh, dogs are barking because of the power, right? They are fighting each other, and they are rebelling each other because of to gaining the power. And politics is a good piece, just like Pakistan, Sri Lanka, both are same situation. And the state corruptions, as I said, you family corruptions and the economical corruptions at the bribery is the highest place in Sri Lanka. It makes a big role in Sri Lankan economy. To, uh, it is a reason and theft and bribery and the theft. Uh, You've got mail. So these are the things. Very sorry for that. Sri Lanka situation. We will see uh, what will be in the future, and uh, hopefully, we will get another video. Bye bye.